Okay, here's a little video to show the uh, Auto Zero with a tool change in the 2010 screen set. Got a tool in the router right now. And we're going to zero this tool. We'll do the initial Auto Zero routine in the screen set. So we'll come over here. It's a little hard to hold the camera still. And we'll go to the initial Auto Zero icon and we'll click it. And the tool will come down to our movable plate. I probably should have jogged it a little lower first to speed it up, but it'll go down about six inches. Back off and zero real slow to get a more accurate reading. Now we'll remove this and now we'll go over to the fixed plate. I've got a fixed plate mounted on the side of my machine where I got a little fence to reference my Y0. Now the tool's getting a reference position for future tool changes. Now that both zeros are done, it's going to come back and the G code's loaded so it's going to start cutting. I got a little test program where it's not going to actually cut anything. spindle comes off, I get out, I've got an M6 in the code, the spindle turns off and it's going to move to the tool change position and then it's going to stop. It's going to stop right there and wait for me to change the tool. And then on the screen, Mach gives you the message to press cycle start after the tool change. So I'm going to pause the video right now and change the tool. Okay, I've changed the tool. You can see it's a much smaller eighth inch, a lot shorter tool. Mach's still waiting, so we're going to come back and hit cycle start. Now the tool's going to jog over to the fixed plate and get a new zero for the new tool. Back off and zero real slow. Get an accurate reading. And now the new tool is all zeroed. Back to continue with the G code. It's going to cut the same thing it cut the first time with the same position at Z0. That's it, that's how the tool change works with the 2010 screen set. And at the end there I use an M883, which is the park command in my G-code and it goes back to the park position. And that's it.